But my guest today will not take no for an answer, even after they've had the door slammed in their face. All of my guests today say they can change that no into a yes through patience and persistence. Their friends all want them to wake up, let go, and get on with their lives. Meet Robin and her friend Carrie. Robin says that Carrie has been obsessed with a man she's never even met. She says he makes it She says he makes it clear that he does not want anything to do with her. Carrie admits that she's obsessed. She is even jealous of her friend Susan for talking to him on the phone. Now Susan's waiting backstage and we'll hear from her in a moment, but first, Robin, tell me what you see going on. This girl is the most obsessed person I have ever met in my life. She will pay town, put in my phone number, call me up. He calls you, talk to him, get him over to your house. I want to see him. She's seen him one time in a car driving by her. One time. <laughs> one. Never again. So you've never met this guy in person? No. So what is it about this person? She loves his voice. <laughs> you love his voice? Something like that. Um, we talk, we've been talking for about a year. And you've been talking for a year and you've never a year met and him? Have almost two years. How far away does he live from you? Uh, about 20 minutes. <laughs> no. Girl, I'm not, I don't even know you, but girl, you gotta wake up and move on. Yeah. I mean, Harry, come on. 20 minutes away and you've known him a year, you've been having this, like, you've been in love with him over the phone for a year and he hasn't made any effort to meet you? No. He's come up with excuses why he could not meet her. He has got three automobiles and a motorcycle. None of them works. They <laughs> can't put all the blame on me now. No, oh, no, 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 no. Who is the one running up the wheat and sitting in his front of his house stalking him? Wait, 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 wait. What's that? Go What's that? She sits in front of his house? Yes, once. I sat in front Twice. of his house. Went up to his work one night, and it was the wrong man. <laughs> That you sat in front of his house? Uh, we sat in front of his house for about a, two or three hours. In the morning, bright early morning. Whoa. So wait, what about, you know, so you're obsessed with him, but, but do you date other people? No. No, no. We, I have tried and tried since I've heard about this guy to set her up with people. She will make up the stupidest excuses why she could not go out. Oh, she, she's 20 years old. My grandparents say, if I go out, I got to be home by 10. When Willie, she's sitting home waiting for him to either car her or show up. Huh. So did you ever claim that this guy was your boyfriend? No, I've never claimed he was my boyfriend. Well, Robin? Never. I don't know. Susan is about that. She, I've known, I've heard of Jay since around November of last year. Susan's okay. just heard about him this year. All right. Now, Susan. Susan's this woman that you're friends with who has a phone conversation with him, too, and you're jealous. For my house. You're mad at Susan because right. she's moving in on your man. Right. Okay. Do you guys want to hear what Susan has to say? Susan! <laughs> Susan, how dare you? That's her phone boyfriend no, and you're no. moving in on him. In the house, it wasn't even the right house. Okay, you were in front of somebody else's house. Okay. <laughs> Second, okay, it's a long story. It goes back to Robin tried to hook me up with this guy Bryce. Carrie messed around with him before I did. So when I started going out with Bryce, I didn't know about her and Bryce. So then me and Bryce start going out, and she's all of a sudden Dave this day that she said Dave was her boyfriend, and. I, if I, let me just get into the story. <laughs> wait, okay. no, wait, 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 wait. I'm moving you along a little bit. You, she moved in on Bryce, so that gives you the right to move no, in no, on no, David? No, no. She met Bryce first, and they had like a one night stand type thing. And Rob, how nice. Oh, no. I let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> and Robin, the instigating little bitch that she is. <laughs> 
that got me talking to Dave, okay? So it's all on What her. is it about this guy Dave? He must get good fun, huh? to show you. Okay. <laughs> But I brought a picture to show you who you're infatuated with, okay? I'm Is he all that? No, 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 let us no. know. No, no. Well, Carrie? Is he all that, Carrie? No. The looks aren't everything. Oh. <laughs> I don't mean it like that or anything, but looks aren't everything. I don't face. But okay, let, let me just throw something out. Let me throw something out of left field, okay? Could it be that you're afraid to meet somebody that you're just holding out for this guy, knowing he's never going to commit to you, you're never going to have anything with him, but you're afraid to be intimate with someone else? Yes. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Dave has a girlfriend. We went... Dave has a girlfriend she'd known about. No. What about 94th Dave? Okay, okay, 94th, okay? Boy. We're friends with this bartender named Glenn, and we were at the bar talking to him, and there's a bar back there. His name's Dave. She, she saw his name tag and was like, I want him. His name's Dave. I've got to have him. And then, like, all the <laughs> fancy guy was too. No. Wait yeah. on that. Carrie, it's time to get over this guy. It gets worse. What, what's going to happen? Are you going to stop obsessing over this guy and really seek therapy so that you can. <laughs> yes, I'm going to move on. It gets worse. Yeah. I think she's lying. I think that she's going to say that on the show and then call him when she gets home. <laughs> and she says that looks are not everything, but what else is, is there? You don't even know him. <laughs> I mean, she does have a point. You just told everyone in this video audience and everyone at home that you are going to move on. Yeah. Do you it really mean it? did meet one guy last that I took her out with. We went to this club called the Cellar. She did hook up with him and she does like him. But wait, yeah. you got to hear the last of it. It gets worse. It gets worse. Susan's got the dirt. Tell us the dirt, Susan. It gets worse. She has got, the, she's got an imagination from I don't know where. She told me she was going out with Dave and like that Dave would pick her up and she would go to his house and he would get mad that she wouldn't have sex with him and that she gave him Okay? And then when I talk to Dave, I'm thinking this is her boyfriend. And I was like, oh, how's your... He's like, excuse me. And, <laughs> and then like... <laughs> Not sure I quite understand what you're saying. But yes, ma'am. Yes, stand up, please. Yes, um, has the other girl that's talking to him on the phone, I don't know where it is. Susan? Have you met Dave and went yeah. out and stuff? No, we're not like that. We're no. oh, just friends talking on the phone. Kinda, yeah. Oh. But wait, it's hard to differentiate because you have a phone conversation with him and Carrie has a phone conversation with him and she, he's her boyfriend. They don't talk anymore <laughs> very much. They don't. So yeah. are you still in love with Dave? No. Okay. It's not okay. what you said five minutes ago, is it? <laughs> no. Do you buy that, okay. audience? <laughs> Sorry, Carrie. When we come back, you'll hear from a woman that says her friend is so obsessed that all the man needs to do is pick up the phone and she'll go running to him. We'll be right back. If someone was obsessed with me, I would think that they were weird. I would feel rather uncomfortable. I would feel afraid, I would feel nervous to walk the streets, I wouldn't feel comfortable uh, leaving my house, I would probably change my phone number, get a new job, never experienced it, but uh, I don't think I would want to. has no romantic interest in them. My next guest, Pam, says her friend Dana is obsessed with their friend Brian and hopes to one day move in with him, take care of the housework, and raise his daughter. Now, Brian is backstage and he'll tell his story in a moment, but Pam, tell me about your friend Dana. <laughs> well, I don't know. We went to a party one time and he was there with another girl. She had a curfew because she was 18 or 17 or 16, something like that. <laughs> 
And she went home. You know who took him home that night? This one. Even though she saw him there with someone else, she took him home. So you're saying that she takes a lot from him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. Is this true, Dana? Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Do you want to have kids with him? And we'll see. No, maybe before, but not now. I'm no, not she's obsessed lying. with him. She's lying. I'm not. So. She's lying. She's lying. So tell me, how is she obsessed with him? Well, last night he called when he got in from the airport to my room, and I called her and told him he was here and that um, he was going to come down. We had to let him in through the lobby. We waited from two till five o'clock in the morning. No, Brian. Well, she said she wouldn't go to sleep unless she heard from him because she was afraid he'd get mugged in the yard. But not if it was just York. him, though. No. I said if it was anybody because you know we're from a different town than New York. Yeah, but still, Brian. But who's uh, Brian? Dana, to move okay. this stuff into my Dana room. has an answer for everything. But Dana, <laughs> what happens if he calls you and wants sex? Do you go running? No. Yes. <laughs> to happen today you want her to move on yes definitely well then i think you should stop calling me <laughs> when he's over there and tell uh, me mr ej, and EJ for your... <laughs> mm -hmm. who are you pointing to ej who's ej ej <laughs> who are you um pm's the husband okay <laughs> and uh is they obsessed with brian i would say yes definitely she uh she's got a brand new jeep he calls up anytime he wants a jeep I'm going to it up. Before, that was before, <laughs> not now. No, right, I think it's time done. we hear what Brian has to say about all this. Oh, Brian! <laughs> Let me ask the source, Brian, do you have this girl whipped or what? Well, I was catching a buzz. What am I supposed to do? You uh, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I think you need to be with a guy that's going to treat you like gold. Oh, I, I'm, I'm not obsessed with him. <laughs> Brian, has Dana ever, ever turned you down? No. Yes. Not that I can think of. Yes, what do you want to say? I think you need to move on with your life because he ain't worth a dime. I agree. I agree. I'm not obsessed anymore. Yes, what do you think Dana should do? Um, um one thing I think he's using now. Cause whenever she wants um the Jeep he wants a Jeep or anything, he's getting it. Would you let any man use your new Jeep? Hell no. <laughs> that he's using her maybe it's the fact that she likes to be used yeah 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 you know what to say I mean, obviously yeah. she puts up with it she puts up with it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. If, if she puts uh -huh. up with him and lets him do the things that he wants to why wouldn't you yeah. if someone lets you abuse them you would do it unless you're just a good person but obviously he's a dog not you ricky you one everyone everyone yeah, well, that's Is that how you feel, Brian? You just can't help it. I mean, she's there. Hey, she's, it's not, yeah, she's not going to turn it down. I'll be all well, over One it. thing that I have to say is that, is that I had stuff in his storage for the longest time. You don't know how long it took me to get my stuff out of there. He made up every excuse to get my stuff out because I could not get it out. So you're saying so, that, what, 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 that's to keep you? Well, no, I that, that was her thought, but... It's not. What was the other Just not trying to swindle some money out of her or something for all the months that was in there. But did you get anything? No. So wait a minute. I gotta ask you, what's so great about Brian? Well, I honestly am about. No, this is it. He's so cute. <laughs> with Dana. They start drinking or whatever and he always gets up close to her with a blanket and tells her snuggles fabric soft. Oh, <laughs> oh, 
she became a major alcoholic because of Dave. <laughs> How does Dave, who you don't Dave, even know, make you an alcoholic? Dave was moving. <laughs> no, Dave was moving to California. He did not call her and tell her. He called me up. Said he was leaving for California the next day because of problems he could not deal with at home. She got so wasted. She drank like two six pack of on the two two six packs. Put her hand through the wall and broke two of her fingers. One night we were at Robin's apartment. It was me, my best friend Jen, Bryce, and his friend Keith. And we stopped by. And we had gone to a movie, and Carrie saw. Yeah, Dave's coming to see me, and we waited an hour and a half. Did I'm he like, show up? No. no. Well, I'm like, page him. She paged him like 60 times, never called back, never came over. Hang on, hang on, yes. Hi, the girl with the black and white, uh... Why don't you pay attention? That's Dana. <laughs> My name is Dana, so I don't know, I have memory lapse. But anyway, um, she's a prime example of a woman who lets a man dog her, and it makes it bad on the man, because she's just showing him how to, you know, just... Go on and use it. Make take all you can get. For the next woman who ever meets him, she's make, making it so bad. So what should she do? Leave him. Leave him. She should dog him? If she could, but I don't think she can. <laughs> well, it's hard, though, because every time I'm at their house, they always bring him up. You know, and there have been times well, when it's all your fault. Well, it's all your no, fault. fault. There are times, no, though, because he met her before I didn't even know her. All right. And coming up next, guys, a woman that says her friend is obsessed with a male stripper. And get this, he's gay. <laughs> I had someone that was totally obsessed with me one time. I mean, this guy like chased me, called my house every day. Eventually the obsession wore off because I started dating a real big guy. I mean, he threatened me, he told me he was going to send me a black rose for goodness <laughs> with a male stripper and would do anything to have him, even if he was gay? Meet Tracy and her friend Kim. Tracy says her friend's obsession is getting worse and worse every day and feels it's time for her to realize he's not going to change his sexual preference for her or anyone. Tell me about it, Tracy. Well, we go to the club. We go to the club to see him. She falls out the chair. She cries. She does everything. And one night we went to the club. She seen him, he came on stage with a dress on. So she ran out of the club crying, fell on the ground, sitting in, in the corner. So he ran behind her, and she was just like, don't touch me, I hate you, I hate you, I just wish you'd leave me alone. But it's not him bothering her, it's her bothering him. So I just want to tell her to get over it. If he does not want to, he wants another man. Kim, what's Can you accept that he is gay? He d he's not attracted to women? Yes, I accept the fact that yes, I accept it. Already know he's gay. It, it doesn't make a difference to me. Does it make a difference? You're still going to hold out for him? No, I'm not holding out yes, for him. Yes, you are. Show us your fingernails. Excuse me? Your fingernails. What do they say? <laughs> <laughs> they say motion, love, love, love. She says she's not holding out for him. Okay. Oh, we gave his motion. Mm -hmm. Oh we go to the club. We go to the club. Okay, and um, what she'll do? She'll see him and she'll be like, well, I don't want to talk to that other guy because he ain't motion. I can't kiss him because he ain't motion. I can't do this with him because he ain't motion. She can't do anything without motion. Nope. <laughs> so, you're laughing over there. But this is like, I mean, do you, this is a problem. Do you date anyone else? Don't you know that you you deserve to have a guy that's gonna love you and want to be with you and only you and not any man? <laughs> so what do you think Tracy's gonna make her move on? Huh? What is gonna make her move on and get over this guy? Nothing. She, I tried everything. I tried taking her out with other guys. She won't go out with nobody else. She's in love with him.
What is it about him? It's everything. He's just the ideal person. He's just the ideal guy that I want. Someone that I want to be with. But it's 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 not it's not a sexual or anything like that. Yes. But he's not a guy. No, 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 no. He is a guy. He's he a let me guy. educate you. Yes, he's a guy. To women, he prefers Regardless men. Regardless of what he's not attracted to, he's still a male. Okay, cross on you because you confused. To Dana, are you obsessed with dimple sex? No, I don't think I'm obsessed with him. But I there was a chance to the next year. There was a time that I was. But not now, I don't think. I mean, who's the last I think one? I could easily go back to it, though. If you were around him more. Yeah, Brian, like, do you want to tell her here and now that you want her to stay away from you? The last time they yeah, were together is yeah, before we came get here. Her, you know, get, get, get TJ or someone, Jason, again and get all over it. Oh, but then, okay, you hear that now, but you just wait till we get back there and how things get. He can <laughs> what do you think's going to happen when you get back home? Oh, it'll be the same cycle as it always goes. Yes, back to Kim and Tracy. How are you going to fulfill your sexual needs with this uh, homosexual? I'm not interested in fulfilling my sexual needs. Oh, you don't have any sexual needs? I'm not into fulfilling. I do, but I'm not into going out and do it because I... You don't need to sleep with this guy? You no, don't I don't like him to sleep with him. I just like him. I'm not infatuated with him. I just love him as a friend. Did you or did you not offer him a car to be with you? <laughs> No, I did not offer him a car. Because I don't recall asking any of my friends to be my friends by offering him a car. She asked him, yes. she asked him, she said, if I give you a car, would you accept it? Okay, I feel like this. First of all, you have to love yourself more. Because if you loved yourself more, you wouldn't put yourself out there to be dogged by men. You would love, you would want someone that would love you. And I'm not putting myself out there to be dog because he's not dogging me because we're not in a relationship. There's nothing between us. He's just a friend. Okay. Then why are you waiting for him? I'm not waiting for him. Then what are you doing? All <laughs> oh, you people should just get a life, honey. Oh, I have a life. <laughs> Are you confused? No. No, I mean, are you confused by... She says that she's not waiting for him, but yet she won't... To me, it seems guys. like she waiting for him because she won't go out with nobody else. She won't do nothing with nobody else because they're not him. So I don't know what else to tell her. Yes. My man Brian, just take her for all she's worth. Oh. She give you the cheek. She give you the cheek. Take the cheek. Tell her to before you get it. You get the cheek. Yeah, right here. Eventually she's gonna learn and she's yeah. like, oh, he is really used to me and, you know, then you get blown up. But hey, you got the jeep, you know, yeah. take you it, you know, but you got your pie and you got your cake, that's what you can do. What a guy, yeah. what a guy, okay. When we come back, a man who says his best friend's obsession with his sister is out of control. Don't go away. <laughs> With a lover, a sibling, a friend? If so, you can be a guest on The Ricky Lake Show. Call 1 800 Go Ricky or 212 889 7465. Hi, this girl has been obsessed with me for eight years now. When I met the girl at school, I just wanted to be friends. The next thing I know, she was inviting me to her house to meet the family. One night, she made me miss the train, so I had to spend the night at her place. Little did I know there was no couch. It was just her bed, and she was wearing lingerie. How am I going to get rid of her? Well, I'm going to start by changing my phone number, that's for sure. <laughs> My next guest, Foshan, says he didn't realize how obsessed his best friend Jim was with his sister Ashley until he left her roses in a love poem on her pillow one day. He says his sister wants nothing to do with him and wishes he would leave her alone. Now, Ashley's backstage and we'll hear from her in a moment, but Foshan, tell me about it. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, he's just obsessed with my sister. He always comes over to work where she works at. He's always got her schedule. 
calls at our house all the time looking for them. During the summer, his bus goes to uh, summer school at Clemson University. And uh, he was down there at our houseboat all the time, down at Lake Lanier. Is it true that your sister moved out of the house because of him? Well, she just got tired of him, and she just went to Buffalo. <laughs> Whoa, real tired of him. Jim, what do you think about that? She didn't move to Buffalo just for that. She, had, she wanted to get out of the house and live on her own. She went to live with uh, one of her good friends up there. They, she stays with her and works up there. So. Do you think you're obsessed with Ashley? Mildly, yeah. <laughs> what have you done to see I, Ashley? Just write poems. Uh, I've kind of stolen a picture from their house. I'm, I'm, I'm like a surrogate uh, son to them. I mean, I'm part of the family. I consider him a brother and her a sister and best friends. Well, and that's, that's kinky. Uh, he's also went to her underwear drawer before. I'm sorry? We caught him in her underwear drawer and her other drawers before in our house. I don't know if I'd say that's mildly obsessed. What'd she do when she heard about this? She just found out today. Oh, really? Yes. But this is serious. This is serious. Are you dating anyone else, Jim? Not at the moment, no. No. Can you date someone else? Yes. Yes, you're capable. All right. You want to hear what Ashley has to say? I sure do. Ashley, come on out. Hi, Ashley. Thanks for being here. What do you want to say about all this? Well, I didn't know how serious it was until I found it with my underwear drawer. That's pretty We're talking about fashion here. Oh. I mean, do you know that he stole a picture of you out of the house? I saw it today, yes. And there's something else you stole. You have it at your feet. Oh, uh, yeah. Funny, right? <laughs> Were you looking for that? No. No? But what do you think about that? How does that make you feel knowing that this guy who's been around your house is like part of the family and he's obsessed with you? It's, uh, it's kind of flattering, but it, it's nerving at times, too. Do you want to tell him that there ain't never going to be a chance in hell? Yes. <laughs> never. Well, she used to come, bitch. She used to come. Oh, am I being mean? I'm sorry. I'm, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tell him what you want to tell him. I don't want to put words in your mouth. Maybe you guys want to get married. I don't know. <laughs> well, I just wanted to know that I really do like him as a friend, but there's no... No chance for a relationship at all. Yes, sir. The one in the middle with the black hat. What's what's her name? Kim. Kim, do you go to like gay bars or like those own bars you go to? Mm -hmm. I'm asking. Let me ask our friend too because she's not going to be honest with me. Uh, Is I most of the bars that she goes to are gay bars? Well, two of them are. But on the weekends, where's she mostly at? Gay bars or street yeah. bars? Does that matter? Um, the matter is that the question is the fact that she's there and, and she has that friend and what she's going to do, she's going to scare that friend away because he's going to realize that she wants more than just a friendship and you're going to chase him away and you're not going to have a friend in the long run and for you to hang out in a gay bar, you're not going to find a future because they're not there to meet a woman. And that's my point to you that you need to go where you can meet someone. <laughs> Nobody. They have strippers there every Saturday. She goes to see them get naked. <laughs> oh. Alright, Ashley, what's in your hands real quick? These are just one of the pictures and poems that Jim writes me all the time. <laughs> Turn to read it. That's really nice. Now, Foshin, how would you feel if the two of them did date? I wouldn't care. You wouldn't care? Is there any chance of that happening? No. <laughs> Is that okay with you, Jim? I'll do. It'll do? All right. Next up, a woman says her friend sits in her car and spies on the man she's obsessed with. Stay with us. like to see on the Ricky Lake show? If so, write us and tell us about it. Send your letters to Ricky Lake Ideas, 401 Fifth Avenue, New York, New York, 10016.
denial is another. My next guest, Lisa, says her cousin Lisa sits in her car and waits outside the home of a man she is obsessed with, just watching to see if he comes out. Lisa says she is determined to get what she wants, and he is it. Lisa says her cousin doesn't see that she is obsessed and is in serious denial. Lisa, tell me about this obsession of yours. Well, I don't consider it an obsession. You don't consider it an obsession? No. Well, what do you consider it? I just like him a lot. Like him enough to sit in his car, sit in your car, and wait for him to leave, just to watch him go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what do you get out of that? <laughs> the pleasure of seeing him. She just wants to see yeah, him. Yeah, I just want to see him because yeah. I don't see him that often. Yeah. So. Do you think this guy sits at your house and sits in his car no, waiting to see him leave? <laughs> <laughs> well, so, let's get up and go to the door. Yeah, why are I'm you? nervous, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Brian would get up and go, take that oh, Jeep, yeah. take whatever he can. <laughs> Reservation. <laughs> All right, yes, what do you want to say? Don't any of you people have a social life? Don't you think you'd have more fun going out with your friends trying to meet? Oh, come on. So tell me, you've never been obsessed with someone. It has nothing to do with not having a social life. I think they'd be better off trying to meet someone instead of having a fascination a and knowing it's not going to go anywhere. A lot of guys want to talk to her. She has a lot of offers for dates. I'll bet, I'll bet. She doesn't want to go out with anybody but him. It's like... I know how she feels. I mean, I've been obsessed, you know, not just a long time ago, but I know what it's like to have that, that, you know, you don't want to risk getting rejected and you have the hots for somebody and you see them from afar and you have this fantasy of them. Probably it's very safe to have this in your mind, this relationship that really doesn't exist. Well, how long did it take you to wake up? Because it's been a while, you know? <laughs> how long has it been for her? How long has this been going on? Basically, he represents the image of a type of guy that I like. I've been liking him for about two and a half years. Do you think he'll ever come around? Do you think he'll ever come around? I hope so. But your cousin sitting next to you says, uh-uh. No. She doesn't believe it. She doesn't believe it. Yes, what do you want to say? I just wanted to say to Brian that what goes around comes around. You are definitely going to get yours for the way you want to Yes, little one, yes. And one more thing to Brian. First, you should take advice from Brian because he's a user. So whatever he says, don't listen. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you got to play the bachelor life. Yeah, I got to ask Lisa, the cousin, you're an accomplice to all this because you're the one that drives her around. Yeah, we, we uh, drive them down the street for like two hours just trying to hope, you know, hoping that we'll pass them coming in our other's house or... So how are you helping her? No, she's, a, she's my best friend. She's my son's godmother, you but know. But you want her to get over this No, I'm like, it's, it's over with now, you know. I'm not going to have I have not pursued it in the past couple of months. I haven't pursued him. You haven't pursued him? No, I haven't him. done it in the past have couple of months. Have you dated months. anyone else? Yeah, I've seen other guys off and on, but Truly? nobody's serious. Okay, yes. I have a question for Brian. Do you have another girlfriend? Uh, just acquaintances. Oh, just acquaintances. Yeah. Do they have nice cars, Brian? Huh? Do they have nice cars? I think she has the best one. Oh. <laughs> Yes, I feel like this Lisa, if you keep waiting for this man that don't want you, you're going to be an old maid in the shoe. <laughs> yes, come on over here. Yes. All these girls, y'all went and go and slit your wrist. Why you keep banging your head against the wall? Just take it home. I like that analogy. Good one. So Lisa, did you really go to a club to see if he was with another woman? I did that like probably about a year ago. Not necessarily to see if he was with another woman, but to go in and talk to him for a minute and then I left But you head. never, ever, ever do that today, right? No. Sure. Okay, when we come back, we have some advice for our guests. Don't go away. backstage to our guest stories. Linda, tell me, how can, how do you know when an obsession turns dangerous? 
Well, um, basically, if the person that you're obsessed with becomes an object, in other words, becomes the object of your affections, if it's come to the point where the person who's the object of your affections has to move, has to change a phone number, um, is, is, is fearful, then it's not just about you and what you think and your relationship with that person, but it's about you know, that, per that person thinking that they're going to be harmed. So you have to, you know, focus away from yourself and realize what you're doing. Yeah, and in the case with uh, with Jim and Ashley going through her underwear drawer, that's that's to me that's not flattering behavior. Well, to be quite honest with you, I mean, you know, this is something that you know I just became privy to. It's not really so much a question of flattering behavior; it's a scary thing to have happened to you. As to what his motivations are to do it, whether it's to be close to him or not, well, we don't know. Yeah, it's a scary. Exactly, we don't know right now. Yes. I would like to know, the one in the black hat, how come um, do you go to gay bars? How can you go to straight bars? I have went a couple of times. I don't go every week or anything like that. I haven't been in like, I only went that one, the couple of times when I see him. I haven't been back with anything. Yeah, there are straight stripper clubs where the dancers are gay. I don't gay, go so. to strippers. It's okay. just that I went that couple of times to see him, and that was it. Okay, yes. I want to ask her in the green. What if it's in the green? Ashley? Right there, Laura. Next to the one in the yard. Yeah. Would it be so terrible to go out on a date with him? If you did, just maybe. I'm just, I'm just if you did, in. just maybe, you should hit it off. If you didn't, then maybe you could cure him of his obsession with you. But let me ask you, would you be apt to go on a date with some guy that went through your underwear drawer, ma'am? No. I was a lot of my people in my house when I was growing up. Right. Linda? What do you think about that? Well, seeing whether or not she should go out with him, I think she has the right to say, you know, if she's interested or not interested. And I don't think that the obsession part of it really is something that she can cure. This is something that resides in him, not with her. Okay, yes. I have a comment um, for Brian and gentlemen down there. You're the reason why men have a problem finding a good woman. You gentlemen need to take advantage and cherish the women. Take care of them. Sweep them off their feet. Do wonderful things. Because... Yes. Yes, ma'am. I'd like to ask that young lady there why she... Which young lady? There's a lot of young ladies there. <laughs> Kim, why are you in such a disguise? I mean, let yourself out, girlfriend. I wasted two years of my life being obsessed with a person. Oh. And, honey... Please. How'd you get over your obsession? I'm still doing it, but... <laughs> but, you know, you should listen to your own advice, girlfriend. And a lot of people told me, a lot of people would tell me this guy is not for you, but for some reason, you know, I know how you feel, and it's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back. Supermodel to look rich and gorgeous, we compile some styles to make over the most thrifty shoppers. We'll make you look like a million for $29.95. Friday on Ricky Lake. Hi, we're back. Yes, ma'am, what do you want to say? I want to say, out of the whole show and listening to what these people have to say, what can Dana do now that will improve her life getting over this guy right here, Brian? You're asking me? I don't know. Dana. <laughs> Dana. Am I right? Her name is Dana? Yes. Right. You want to know what is she going to do to get over Brian? Oh, yes. I feel what I am. about you and the way he totally talked about you. You well, said you, you say yourself that what he said, I know it's not all true. I mean, of course, he's got to make himself look good. He came out here and said he had you wrapped around his finger. You should have heard him during the break. I just got to say it. I got to make myself look good. Yeah. But, Brian, you realize you're not making yourself look so good. Well, I mean, it's not like she's not she's the only one that I like this with because she keeps bringing it on, you know. You know, I just keep doing it. You know, using her. It's like if I've met other girls that I get serious right. with. Okay, unfortunately we're out of time. I'd like to thank all of my guests for being here today. I know, I know. It's one thing to have a crush on someone, but when that tr crush turns into more and the other party doesn't feel the same way for you, it's time to back off and move on. 
Holding on to a fantasy that will never become a reality will only end up hurting you. After all, a one-sided relationship is not a relationship at all. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Promotional fees have been paid by the following. Six.